no win. But nonetheless, uh, Batty will have his hands full, and so won't do with Batty, among others. I've never seen anything like this, Dwight. 22 collegiate athletes, half American, half foreigners at American colleges, dipped under four minutes for the mile this year. We've never had anything like that. This, as far as collegiates go, never mind that. 1957, when the first American got under four minutes, until 1967, that's when 22 Americans got under four minutes. It took 10 years. So better training methods, top talent, altitude training, all these things have made a difference over time. Well, if the first lap is any indication, it's not terribly tactical yet, as Eric Van Ingen, uh, Bingenton, the senior, takes out the pace at a pretty brisk turnover right now, certainly faster than the women did. Van Ingen from the appropriately named town of Marathon, New York, no less, ran a 3.57 on Boston University's very fast track. And, you know, I talked about the talent that's on this track. Eight of the ten people out there right now are underclassmen. The same thing coming up in the 3,000 meters. 18 out of 20 of them underclassmen. The futures never look this bright. Well, it's bunched up considerably when the pace slowed down. You always worry there's ten athletes in this final, and some of them went out as far as lane four in that turn to get away from the trouble. They appear to be stringing themselves out a little bit better now, but... Miles Batty has now moved himself into third. Dumi Asano is around fifth. The pace, Dwight, 60.7 seconds for the first 400 meters. Solid, not really slow, but not fast at all either. So Chris O'Hare on the inside from Tulsa, but that's the countenance of Miles Batty there on the outside. He looks big by comparison to the rest of the athletes in there. There's Dumi Asano of Florida. Back there in third, fourth or so, staying out of trouble. O'Hare is sophomore from Great Britain. While he's at University of Tulsa, ran 356.48 at Fayetteville, Arkansas, on their eight-lap track. Pace hit picking up a little bit here now. 203.11 seconds for the first 800 meters. So they've definitely kicked it into a bit more of a tipper's race. Masello now moving himself into third, but staying outside a bit. Ryan Foster at Penn State in fourth. Let me make one correction. This is a mile race, opposed to most everything else metric here, so it's 880 yards. Pace definitely quickening here. Three, three to go, coming up. Asano getting himself in position. Chris O'Hara continuing to lead from Tulsa. Miles Batty there in second place, ran a very smart race in the DMR to take that for the Cougars. Now Asano making his move, getting himself in position. Batty takes a look over his right shoulder to check where he is. They got the advantage of the big screen as they go down that back stretch. Coming up to the three-quarter mile mark, and now at two to go. The Tulsa sophomore from Great Britain continuing to lead. 3.02.94 seconds. So sub 60 second 400 meters there as Acello now goes around Batty and now has his eyes set on the lead. But outside everyone, that is Ryan Foster of Australia and Penn State who now asserts himself. Hasello letting himself get gapped a little bit there, still in fourth. Batty now running wide. So it is Foster. Now it is O'Hare back into the lead with a lap to go. It's O'Hare now Batty. Foster fading ever so slightly. Hasello trying to jump on the accelerator, but it doesn't seem to be there as he now goes around to try to get to third. O'Hare in full sprint as is Batty. Hasello just can't get around Foster. He's going to run out of real estate. It is Chris O'Hare, the Tulsa sophomore from Great Britain. Does Batty have enough left after that great DMR anchor yesterday? It's O'Hare. Here comes Batty again, just like yesterday. It's going to be Batty, O'Hare, Foster, and a disappointed Hasello in fourth for Florida. And Miles Batty gets his own individual NCAA title along with the DMR title from Friday. Batty, three minutes, 59.49, one hundredths of a second. Also dipping under four, Chris O'Hare from Tulsa, 359.62 seconds. And Doomy just did not have it today like he had in Fayetteville for the SEC meet. And that was a great race when you consider the pace they went in from 800 meters and at 1200 to break four minutes. That's just a gutty performance. 156 plus for Eddie Eyestone's charge, Miles Batty from BYU. They have an excellent distance program there, and they've got a two-time Olympian doing the coaching. Look at him power along with his arms and move by. That's a lot of confidence to wait that late 
to, to sprint down the home stretch for Miles Batty.